Hello everyone, Sydney St. James here with you today for Season 5 and Episode 8. And we've already gone over how to make an ebook cover. We've gone over how to make a paperback cover. And the last in our design phase, so to speak, is the audiobook cover. But I'd like to speak to you just a little bit before we kick things off with how you make the audiobook cover. Have you ever heard the, a country song that says, I was country before country was cool? Yeah. Well, I was branding before branding was even a word brought up in the social network. And by that, today, you asked me about the hat I wore in a few episodes back that had a star on the front. Well, this hat right here, if you can see it, has an alligator on the front. Above it is a red sun. Below it is a red triangle. And, and of course, it says A.J. Struess Company, which was my grandfather, who started the company back in 1918. When I took over the business, I kind of brought it to modern day era. This was in the late 1990s. Um, no, actually around 2005. Yeah, 2005, 2010. Anyhow, I brought to it branding. And we started a heating and air conditioning, or actually expanded upon a heating and air conditioning company. And we needed a logo that said something, that meant something. Well, if you look up here, the alligator. The town is known as Eagle Lake, Texas. And it has far more alligators than anywhere that you'll find on the Gulf Coast. They're everywhere. If you go fishing on the Ricefield Canal on a, a day in the August, let's say, when it's warm, the whole levee along the Ricefield Canal is loaded with alligators just sunning out there. Some want to get out of the sun, and they dig a hole in the side of the bank, and they stick their little snout out. Well, anyhow, that's how we came up with the alligator. The red is for heating, heating and air conditioning. And the blue, of course, is the air conditioning. So this was branding. This was an, the company logo for years, and that's how it was designed. I don't know why I want to tell you that today. I just know that when I was wearing this cap, I said, you know, I've got to tell the story on that. But now back to what we're going to talk about today. Today, we're going to talk about the final part of making book covers from ebook to paperback. And today, we're going to talk to you about making an audio book cover. And the reason we're going to talk about making an audio book cover, and I told you on episode one or two that one of the biggest things that I found in editing my book before publication was producing and narrating an audiobook. And I found numerous errors, even though I put them through three different editing programs and word edit and so forth, I still found numerous errors and I fixed them. And this way I fixed those errors. I fixed them in my narration. So now I have the ebook, the paperback, and the audiobook all fine tuned before they go to publication. So here we go. I'll show you how it's done. Again, thanks for joining us today. Okay, everyone, let's get underway. Now, on the screen in front of you, you see Book Brush. That's just like we did in the last two episodes. But in Book Brush, and I'm moving my camera out of the way so I can see a little better. Uh, same thing goes here. Tools, Cover Creator, which I've clicked on. It brings me to this screen here. And now, the third one we're going to do is audio. In audio cover, there's two different ones. They both work. One is 3,000 pixels by 3,000. One is 2,400 by 2,400. So I'm going to go with the 3000 just because I like 3000. <laughs> now, on the screen is another blank canvas ready to produce your audiobook. Now, 
some of the requirements for your cover, again, they have to match what's inside your book. And they also have to give credit to who's narrating the book. So we're going to take our same book that we've just done the ebook on and just did the um, paperback book on. And now we're going to design an audio book. Now we want to go back to our templates again. Click on templates, type. I don't know why I put the camera there because I can't ever see my, my screen. And we're going to click on audio. Now these are a bunch of audio templates here. Once again, I can come over here and click on mystery. So I get just those templates. There's uh, 21 of them that deal with that genre. And I'll look at them. Now if I don't like them, I can also, I'll go ahead and do that anyhow. I'll add general to it. So now I have general and I have uh, mystery, just those templates in those categories. So I'm gonna start going through them and kind of seeing which one I kind of like. As I'm scanning through it, hmm, don't see anything there. Uh, I don't see things there yet. I'm going to add crime and romance to it. Ah, uh, I thought we may, no, we didn't do this one. Okay, let's check, a, let's take a look at deadly intent. So let's click that. Now, this is my mystery one, my murder mystery for checkmate. So let's go in here and let's double click this. And we're going to come up, check mate. Now, if you've been following my podcast, you'll know now that you go back over to the left. And I'm going to move this a little bit. I'm still here, but I can see the screen a little bit better. I'm going to double click that. Now, my font is way too big. So we're going to cut it back to 80. So we kind of like that. Checkmate. Now we need a, uh, some text in there. We need text that says, let's put some, uh, let's do our by subtitle, a Vincent James Gideon novel. I'm gonna shrink that up a little bit, go with the 40, and see what that looks like. I'm going to, once again, you drag the handles here to open it up. There we have it. Checkmate. A Vincent James Gideon novel. It looks like a mystery. It looks like a murder mystery. So this kind of fits what we're, we're, fits to the genre of what we're trying to explain in our audio book. Now, when you're doing an audio cover, there's two things about an audio a book if you're doing if you're doing one if you're narrating one if you do short parts of the book to just kind of talks about the book like a few chapters then that's the abridged version if you do the unabridged version that means that you start at the very beginning and go to the very end with your narration and that includes everything from the title page to the dedication and introduction and chapters and everything so that's the unabridged version. So what we're going to do, I'm going to click on the title again and add new title. And here I'm going to type unabridged. We're going to lower the font down. I don't want this to be too, too um, vibrant, but I'm going to put it right over here. Now, I may shrink it down, bring this side in, just makes it cleaner. So now we have the unabridged, we have Checkmate, Vincent James Gideon. And once again, I want to go back to Checkmate because I don't like how it sits there with no color or shadow or anything to give it a little bulk. So we're going to pick our uh, shadow instead of being black like it is, we're probably... Uh, Let's add a little blue to it, see what happens. 
And then we're going to make our tax up too much, about right there. Okay, so now we have a glowing checkmate. Unabridged, it fits our book, it fits the title inside the book, a Vincent James Gideon novel. So far, so good. It will pass all the inspections, except down here, it says narrated by. Now, usually I, ch I change this up. I will come in here and I'll shrink it up and I'll put it maybe right here. And I'll change that narrated by to Sydney St. James. Also, I'm going to change that font to maybe a 30. I'm going to bold it. And I think I'm still going to make the font a little smaller. There we go. I'm going to probably put it right up here. Narrated by Sydney St. James. The author name, I'm going to change the author name to, uh, let's try written by, shrink up the font to, let's say 30. Leave it right there, bold it. And then I'm going to add some more text. And what I'm going to add is the author's name. We'll put Sydney St. James right here. Now you can do all sorts of things here. Sometimes on my audio books, I'll go in there and let me pick out a an image that I have here. Images. I'm going to go with my images. And I'm going to use that one right there. And there I am. So now I have unabridged, narrated by Sydney St. James, checkmate, written by and I put a little picture there just because I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to put, bring it on down. There we go. So that, my friends, is as simple as it is. Now, once again, this doesn't, well, I'm, I'm a subscriber. And yes, it does cost money. But I do far more than just making book covers uh, on BookBrush. I go in and do a lot of my marketing material. I'll do my launching marketing that I'm doing. I build my Instagram to make notices that I'm about to launch a book. Uh, I'll make coupons to give my books away for a special or whatever it might be. But again, BookBrush has all sorts of things for you to look at. And again, I'm not advertising for BookBrush. It's just that I think it's a great program. That's what I use on my journey of becoming a best-selling author. And I'm sure you could do the same thing. So there you have it. Um, I may be a little off center there on, on that. But that is the audio book cover that will go with the audio that I showed you a little earlier in the podcast about how to produce an audio book. And if you have any questions, down there below, leave some comments. Be sure to click on the little bell for notification and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, something else that you would like to ask a question on about this journey of being a first-time publisher, I'd love to hear from you. I'll make it one of my episodes on this fifth season because it's all dedicated to So You Want to Be an Author. Again, thanks for joining me today. And as always, see you later, alligator.